Hi there, Chris Fougere, the Freedom Marketing Coach here with you today. And I'm also the owner of Do Local and co-creator and owner of Lead Cycles. So on today's video, I want to show you how to leverage all the people who are coming into your brick and mortar business. Now, again, keep in mind that all these people who actually take the time and energy out of their day to come down to your brick and mortar business, that is a person who's really interested. Now, they not, might not buy what you're um, selling today on their first visit, but they're very interested. They did not just look on the website or look on your social media. They actually took the time and energy to come down to your business. So you want to further that relationship as much as possible. But also what they're saying, without saying it out loud, is they're putting their hands up saying that they're one of your best prospects. So as my old friend Joe Marcoux would say, he'd say birds of a feather flock together. So the idea is that if there was a way to advertise or market to all that person's friends and family, right? Because they're a great prospect. Um, if there was a way to do that um, for no payment to Facebook, right? Or no advertising payments, would you be interested? And I would hopefully say uh, that your answer to that question would be yes. So the idea here is to leverage a platform that you're probably already using in your business, um, but you don't know about this because most people don't. And if they do, they don't know how to use it properly. So I'm going to make a suggestion to you in just a minute here. So again, what am I really talking about here? I'm talking about something that you can do in your business um, starting as soon as tomorrow or even later today. Now below this video or somewhere on this page connected to this video is going to be a PDF that you can download, kind of a checklist of, hey, here's the steps to take, right? The blueprint of how you could do this um, exactly um, in your business to get the result that I'm going to show you here on this video. The idea um, is that, you know, you might not be taking advantage of some of the tools and techniques that are already out there. Um, and certainly if you're anything like me, when I had my brick and mortar business, which was a restaurant for years, you know, I had a limited marketing budget, right? So I wanted to get the most um, ROI out of my efforts that I was already using to get people to come down to my brick and mortar location. So now to get on with it, here's the idea. You can see on my screen, my Facebook application is open. So I'm going to just give you an example, right? And it's all about how it works for your business. but. If I have a brick and mortar business, which I did a restaurant, I would say to people when they came in, hey, listen, how would you like to get an appetizer for free today? And they'd say, for sure, what do I do? How do I do it? Well, if you just check in on Facebook, we're going to give you a free appetizer when you buy, an, buy another appetizer, okay? Now, the idea is very simple. This person took the time to come down to my restaurant and now they're gonna have something to eat, great. Birds of a feather flock together. So I want to market to all their friends and family that they are in my place and you know that knowing that that's almost the same as a word of mouth recommendation, right? So how do we do that? Well, let's pretend that the restaurant I'm about to look up is my old restaurant. So I'm gonna click on search, right? And all you do, again, if you're in your own business is you just tell them to search for your business while they're there. So I'm gonna, pretend in this case that my business is called Salisbury House, okay? So all you get them to do is right below the like button, okay? Every page is set up the same way. You just tell them to click the three dots and then hit check in, okay? And then write the little blurb that they wanna write, okay? So you can ask them to take a picture of, you know, if you have a restaurant, get them to take a picture of your food or something cool about your restaurant. Um, if you have a, you know, an office where people are coming to get, uh, you know, physio or a massage or a haircut or something, then you just get them to take a picture that would kind of say that or whatever it might be, or get them to do a selfie and put it here and then put a little blurb and then hit post. Okay, that's it. A little bit of a picture, a little bit of a blurb, and then tell them to hit post. Now that's them checking in at your place. Now, what is the power behind this? The power is that when they go to post that, it's not going to show up on your business page feed. That's not where it shows up. It shows up on their feed. Now, their feed is not limited by Facebook, right? Your page, your business page for your business is dialed down to about 1% organic reach, okay? Which means that if you want it to show anything you post, if you want it to show to more people than that, you are gonna have to pay to show it. That's not the way personal pages work. So when they hit post, this shows up on their page and tells everybody who 
they know that they're currently at your business and here's a you know shot of your business and what they might be doing there or whatever. So that could be shown to 50, 100, 200, 300, 400 people. It's gonna go up depending on how many comments people make on it, right? Facebook's gonna then show it to more people if they actually comment on it. So you might think of ways to get people to comment on that, right? But the reality is you now have just advertised to all that person's friends and family on Facebook without paying Facebook a nickel, right? Now you might say, well, yeah, but in your situation, you gave away a free appetizer. Absolutely. But if the appetizer was, you know, back in the day, $12, my real cost was $3. Well, would you pay $3 to get in front of your best prospects? <laughs> I would say hopefully the answer would be yes, right? So what could you do? Well, figure out something that you can give away. Now, if you can't give away an actual item, right? And look at my example. They couldn't get the free appetizer unless they bought an appetizer. So it's not me just giving out free appetizers to people when they walk in and check in and then they walk out the door after having two waters um, and spend no money. That's not what's happening here. So same thing for your store. You might want to give someone a voucher where if they buy, if they do this, right, get, you know, buy three, get one free or get $10 off your whole order if you spend $49 or more or whatever your offer is, right? There's lots of different ways to skin it. But the fact of the matter is, is all these people who are coming into your brick and mortar location, you've got an opportunity to get them to check in and then get in front of all their friends and family. So think about how much it costs to get in front of your best prospects right now. Can you even do it by the targeting you're doing, right? And is it you talking about you or is it someone else talking about you? Remember what's really happening here. It's someone else talking about you, not you talking about you. So again, that's like a personal recommendation. Oh, so-and-so is at Salisbury House. Well, we like so-and-so, and so-and-so has similar taste to us. So if they're there, we'd probably like it. And we've never been there. We should go there. That's what we're talking about here. So again, there's a lot of different ways to skin this. I can't have a <laughs> two-hour long video on how to do this. But like I said, if you want to know more about this, you can reach out to me. Um, in any way shape or form on the links below this video but like I said download the PDF and use it to create the same kind of thing in your business and like I say it absolutely works for any kind of brick and mortar business that people have to come down to in person okay if you're not sure of what can work for you then click a link jump on a call with me and I can help you walk through the idea and uh, we can go from there. But otherwise, thank you so much. I hope this training helped. And if so, um, you know, if there's subscriptions or like buttons or anything else on this page, click them. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Great stuff. Talk to you soon.